RGB mouse pads are becoming very popular. I see it a lot on my setup board show. And eventually, I feel like everything is gonna be RGB. We have RGB faucets. Hell, even our toilets are becoming RGB. But you know what? Not everybody has $60 to spend on a premium RGB mouse pad. So I went on Amazon and looked over a bunch of RGB mouse pads under $30, and I bought the ones with the most reviews and the highest ratings, with the exception of the extended mouse pad, which was only $2 over the budget because of the size. So I'm gonna go over them and tell you guys what I like and don't like from each one, starting with the Bladehawks. So I picked this up for $27 and it's a regular size mouse pad with a hard surface. However, it does have a micro textured finish, which is nice. I do prefer this texture over aluminum because it's not too cold to the touch and it doesn't hurt your hand when dragging it around. There are no drivers for these mouse pads, so you control the lighting with the buttons on the actual pad itself. So the power button does two things. You can either control the three level brightness via short press or turn off the lighting via long press. The other button controls the lighting. You get seven static colors, one RGB rainbow effect, and one pulsating effect that goes through all seven colors. It's built really well and you get four rubber feet on the bottom to help keep it in place. Now the cable that comes with the mouse pad is braided and it's the ugliest cable I have seen. I have no idea what the design team was thinking going with this color for an RGB mouse pad. Something so small and dumb like this can be a deal breaker for some people. Now there is a fix to this if the cable messes up with your color scheme. I recommend positioning the mouse pad sideways and running the cable underneath your keyboard or you can always drill a hole in the desk and route it that way if it bothers you that much. The lighting on the mouse pad isn't the best either. You can clearly see hot spots throughout. The main source of light is directly in the center of each side and you can kind of see the light slowly fade towards the sides. It's not as noticeable if you keep the RGB lighting effect on. The lighting also doesn't go all around the mouse pad. It kind of stops near the top on both sides. One thing I like about the mouse pad is that it's water resistant. So if you spill any liquid on it, you can easily wipe it off. And for the most part, cleaning it is also very easy using a cloth. Just make sure to use a lint roller afterwards to get the fabric pieces off of it. You know, if it wasn't for the obvious hot spots on here, not to mention this ugly green braided cable, I would have given it a 4.5, but this is a solid four out of five for me. Next mouse pad is from Enhance, and this one costs $30. It has a smooth aluminum surface. There is no friction like the last mouse pad, and because of this, it's really easy to slide the mouse around, making it great for those fast-paced games. Now, the mouse pad does have a design on the surface, which also lights up, and this could be a deal breaker for some people who prefer a cleaner look. The pad is slightly thinner than the previous one, but it doesn't really affect the build quality. I do like that they cover the entire back with a rubber mat, instead of just putting rubber feet in the corners and in the center. The buttons are also right on the mouse pad itself. Now, it does the same thing like the previous one, and it has the exact same colors and effects with hotspots in the same places as well. Unfortunately, the lights don't get that bright, but if you're playing in low lights most of the time, then it shouldn't matter. One thing I do like about this mouse pad is the cable. They stuck with neutral colors, but it's also detachable, so you can use any other micro USB cable out there. It doesn't say if the mouse pad is water resistant, but if you spill stuff on it, you should be fine. It's also very easy to clean the surface because it's aluminum. The lighting might be weak on here and the design might be a turn off for a lot of people, but other than that, there isn't much I dislike about this. I give it a solid four out of five. Next up, we have the cheapest RGB mouse pad on the list coming in at just $20 and for good reason. The build quality is surprisingly pretty good despite the price. Now the surface is hard, but it's not aluminum. It kind of has this texture to it, so it's not as smooth dragging the mouse around. It does have some rubber feet in the back and the only way you control the lighting is from the single touch sensitive button. You only get six colors this time, but you do get three lighting effects. The hotspots on this mouse pad are very bad, and not only that, but the lighting is very weak and it's hardly noticeable in a well-lit room. Unless you're someone who's gaming at night only, this is probably a deal breaker for you. The mouse pad also scratches easily, so I would avoid putting sharp things next to it. Uh, it is water resistant, and since the surface is hard, cleaning it should be really easy. You know, they definitely cut a lot of corners to bring the price down to $20, and it definitely shows. I give this mouse pad a solid two out of five. Now this next mouse pad from Red Dragon puts the previous one to shame. This one goes for $22, but I feel like it does most of the things right. The build quality is really good. We got rubber feet in the back and a hard polymer surface with texture, just like the previous mouse pad. However, this one doesn't bother my hand as much when sliding the mouse around. The cable is detachable and braided, which is great. And for the most part, it's a clean looking mouse pad with a transparent logo in the corner. What I love about this mouse pad is the lighting. I feel like Red Dragon does it the best. The hotspots aren't that noticeable and the lighting is spread out more evenly compared to the previous mouse pads. 
they also get really bright with four different levels. The downside is you only get three solid color options, either red, green, or blue. However, you do get breathing options for the rest of the colors like purple, teal, and white. Uh, and finally, you get two color cycle effects. The mouse pad surface is waterproof and it's easy to clean. However, it can get scratched because of the texture, so be careful with that. I'm pretty impressed. For $20, this is a solid RGB gaming mouse. I just wish they had more solid color options other than blue, green, and red. All the other colors are pulsating, which makes no sense. But because of that, I can give it a solid five. Uh, however, I can give it a 4.5. So this next mouse pad is a straight copy of the enhanced mouse pad with two key differences. First of all, it has a different design, obviously, and the detachable cable has a female USB port so you can actually hook up a mouse or a headset to it. The RGB lighting, the surface material, build quality, I mean, everything else is practically identical. However, this one cost $1 more. I give this mouse pad the same rating as the other one, a four out of five. This third mouse pad from Enhance are for those who prefer a more minimalistic design. So the surface is pure aluminum, so it's always gonna be cold to the touch. So if you're someone who always has warm or sweaty hands, then this can help cool you down. The downside to this mouse pad is that it can scratch the rubber feet underneath your mouse, and it doesn't really offer a smooth traction compared to the other surfaces. Also, there are no buttons on the mouse pad, so you can't control the RGB lighting. You only get the default rainbow effect. This is kind of a hit or miss for some people out there depending on what mouse they're using and honestly for $30 I kind of expected something more, especially for something that you can't even control the RGB lighting on. Last but not least we have an extended soft RGB mouse pad. Due to the size it's going to cost you a few dollars more so I picked this up for $32. Uh, the build quality is really good, the stitching on the sides seem to hold up very well so far and it has a detachable braided cable. I don't like the placement of the cable though, I wish it was directly in the center so that I can route the cable with my keyboard. It's also a short cable so depending on where you put your PC it might not reach it. Now the lighting is pretty good, I was obviously expecting some hotspots due to the length of the mouse pad. You can see that the corners are the brightest areas, but it does spread evenly as it travels across the sides. It's nothing too distracting. As far as the lighting, you get seven solid color choices and three effects. The one downside is that you don't get to control the brightness, but they are very bright, even in a well-lit room. Uh, you can also turn off the lights if you want. Now the surface, just like any other cloth mouse pad, gets dirty easily, especially from dead skin cells. However, they are really easy to clean with some hot water and soap. I think there were two or three large RGB mouse pads, and this is the only one with the most reviews and the highest rating. So if you guys are looking for a large, soft RGB mouse pad, then this is the best one you can get right now on Amazon. I give it a solid 4.5. And that does it for my list of the best RGB mouse pads under $30. I'll drop a link to everything mentioned in this video. And if you guys enjoyed it or if it was at all helpful to you, dropping a like would be awesome. And if you guys didn't like it, feel free to dislike as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed because I do have the best budget gaming mice under $20 coming up very soon, as well as headsets and microphones and also keyboards as well. Thanks again for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.